We had launched a campaign in uh, end of January, early February of this year with the hope of raising $5 million to help support the hospital. Uh, very pleased to uh, announce that we're $2 million into our goal of $5 million in only six months. I want to say a very big thanks to our foundation and all of the generous donors. Because of their work, their generosity, and their caring, we have now been able to open this Mandel Center here in Waterbury. Uh, we're very, very grateful to, uh, to the greater Waterbury area and all the generous donors. Uh, this campaign has raised over $2 million to date. Uh, most of which has been dedicated to the MS Center. It, it really is an example of corporate and community coming together to do better things for the community. Our hope with what we've done here is to set a new quality standard for care. The 750 plus people who are in the greater Waterbury region who are diagnosed with MS can get quality of care here in the city, something they could not get before. Prior to that, patients had to go to separate visits in a physical therapy center, speech therapy, visits for a neuropsychologist, for their neurologist, infusions wherever they could get them. As you go down the coast, even as far as Danbury, Fairfield County, there's really no other center. So my expectation is you're going to see the numbers of people being treated here much higher. I'll be having my first visit here in, uh, in August. Uh, to receive my drip of Ocrevus, and, and I cannot tell you uh, what a difference it will make to not have to sit in traffic from anywhere to one to two hours to go for uh, medication and then have that same one to two hour ride back to Waterbury. The next phase of this capital campaign is the expansion of the emergency department. It really is a very taxed part of the hospital. As great as the service is and as great as the care is down there, it really does show uh, how, how much harder they all have to work dealing with the area that they're in. It would allow more privacy and more physical space for the medical patients who come in, oftentimes right now, who have to be boarded in hallways, sometimes for hours, because we have twice as much volume as the original emergency department was built for. I want to thank uh, every one of you who have contributed so far and others who have graciously given of, of not only funds, but of time to help make this a huge success.